Hey guys, it's Ironheart here, back again with some more Hell at Loose news. The developers have released some interesting information about the stuff they are working on for upcoming updates of the game. Some of these are game changing improvements, while others are just nice to have quality of life improvements which will make the game a bit more well rounded and polished. So let's dive right in. We've got a first look at something very cool coming to the game. The Germans, Americans and Soviet forces are getting half tracks. These will carry one driver and seven men and will act as mobile garrisons. To activate the garrison ability, the vehicle will need to be stationary, allowing your team to spawn on them. Players won't be able to spawn on half tracks while they are moving. The Germans will be getting the Sonderkraft Freihazug 251, I probably butchered that. Uh, but anyway, the Americans are getting the M3 half track and the Soviets are also getting a Lend Lease M3 half track. For those who don't know, Lend Lease was a US government program to provide military aid as well as food, oil and material to countries like the United Kingdom, the Free France, the Republic of China and the Soviet Union between 1941 and 1945. Basically, the Americans provided equipment to the Soviet Union to help them fight the Germans. The developers have said that these half-tracks will initially be unarmored, but could be upgraded in future updates with mounted machine guns, so players can provide covering fire while they use them to spearhead attacks into enemy territory. I imagine a good driver will be able to set up a half-track garrison in one location, let a wave of infantry spawn on it, and then redeploy to another location, set up there, and then release another wave to attack from a different angle. I can't wait to try these out. These new toys will be available to try out in an upcoming public test environment for PC players. Jump onto the Hell at Loose Discord to learn more about how to get involved with that. Improved sound effects are coming to the game. Black Matter have begun adding audio occlusion to certain groups of sound effects. Occlusion is the effect on the sound when obstructed by objects in the game world, reducing volume and high frequencies. Currently, this has been applied to weapons and vehicles and certain character sound effects. Right now, buildings and landscapes all obstruct sounds, but the developers want to refine this feature and apply the settings to more sound effects and potentially more objects within the game world. As part of their general revamp of how sounds work in Hell at Loose, the developers have chosen to redesign six of the current weapons. These include the M1 Garand, the Browning Machine Gun, the M1903 Springfield, the MP40, the STG, and the MG42. These include redesigning the reload sounds of the M1 Garand, MP40, and STG. This will bring these weapons in line with the recent redesigns of the Car 98 and Thompson submachine gun, as well as the new addition of the Soviet weaponry from the Eastern Front update. The MP40, STG and Browning machine gun have been changed to a single shot spawning method which plays one firing sound every time a bullet is fired. Previously, the game used audio loops, which meant that the loops were often cut off when attempting to single fire these weapons. In addition, the developers have worked on more audio cues for vehicle damage through bespoke sound effects. There are four components for vehicle damage that now have audio cues attached to health parameters. Damaged tracks will clank, engines will smoke, the turret will grind, and the hull will creak. All of these will hopefully give additional feedback and immersion to players inside and outside of vehicles. In this clip, you'll hear the redesign of the STG-44, the M1 Garand, and MP40 from the shooter's perspective, as well as distances of 50 and 100 meters.
Currently, I have noticed that sometimes when I kill somebody shooting at me, sometimes the sound of their weapon firing continues even though their body is falling to the ground or the weapon is no longer visible, i.e. it's been dropped. It's a small issue, but if these sound improvements help to eliminate that minor bug or misaligned audio or whatever is happening there, then I think it'll be a good improvement to the game. Another good improvement coming in update 11 will be the deployable replacement system. At the moment, if you build an anti-tank gun as an anti-tank player and that position it get, either gets overrun or it's no longer viable because the action has moved somewhere else, you're a bit screwed because you have to hope that the enemy either blows up your anti-tank gun or you find a way to get back there to dismantle it before you can place another anti-tank somewhere else, as each anti-tank player can only have one AT gun on the map at a time. The developers have recognised this is a bit of a pain in the ass, so under their new system, when you build a new anti-tank gun, your old one will simply disappear. Here is a quick preview of how that will work. See how the old anti-tank gun in the background disappears when the new gun is built. This change will hopefully make placing anti-tank guns easier and make them more viable in the game, which is a good thing as they're quite fun to use. I've said it before and I'll say it again, communication in Hell at Loose is essential. Having a mic and setting it up properly is really important. To help players do this, the developers will be introducing a mic check feature in the options. This feature will allow players to do a self-check after loading into a server to ensure their mic is working and it's set to the correct volume without being too quiet, too loud or distorted. This is one of a few different features which will be coming to the game to improve the overall in-game comms, to make open and clear communication between players easier. The developers have also indicated that they are looking at possibly introducing separate channel volumes too. This will be potentially a nice feature because sometimes you can find yourself being overwhelmed by too much chatter on the command chat channel or perhaps your squad is talking too loudly and being able to control the volumes of each separate channel will be a nice addition for players who like to differentiate between different channels. There will be new menu character animations based on the loadout you've equipped for that class. These will replace the existing stationary thousand yard stare that your soldier currently has. This is an example of a nice to have improvement, but it isn't something anyone in the community was say dying to have, as there are still a few bigger issues which need fixing in the game, but having some cool animations to look at while you wait to hop into a server will be nice. The developers are also testing a simplified version of the sniper and binocular optics, which they hope will solve as many issues as possible while maintaining a fun and satisfying experience. The optics in Hell at Loose have suffered at times from a few different issues, such as sniper scope jitter, visual bugs, or reticle misalignment in different stances. The developers have been honest and said that when they solve one thing, it seems to break another, but hopefully they can find a lasting solution. Finally, we've got some information about some more uniforms coming to the game. We've been given a sneak peek of the American 82nd Airborne Pathfinder uniform, some of the screenshots here show that. And we've also been shown a sneak peek, a painted US Jungle Frogskin M1 helmet, which will go along with the Frogskin camo uniform I showcased in an earlier Update 11 preview video. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more Hell at Loose news and Hell at Loose action. I'll see you next time.